Well, good morning, everybody. This morning, we are sitting at about three degrees, which is really bizarre because it feels a lot warmer than that, but I dressed just in case. Um, today, we are going shopping because if I don't buy food, my family's gonna starve to death. So, <laughs> we gotta go buy food. Um, so, I have been, I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but one of my favorite things to do is to play with food. I love to play with food. Um, I'll like pick a culture. The last time I played with food, it was Russian. So I learned how to make a peasant soup and I learned how to make pierogi, um, cabbage rolls. Oh my God, those are so good. Um, I learned how to make a lot of really interesting food. And um, when you learn to cook on a budget and stuff, I don't know if you ever looked into like depression era food. A lot of fun. Um, some of the food that they came up with during the depression era is really actually quite good. I tried some of it. You can go on YouTube um, and you can watch uh, videos of people who lived through the depression era. Uh, they're very elderly but they cook these foods and they talk about what it was like and it's just really amazing. You know, necessity, as they say, is the mother of all inventions. So some great dishes came out of it. So today I'm going to take you grocery shopping with me. Um, but something special that we're doing, my new culinary adventure, is that I found out that wonton wrappers are pasta. Um, I love spring rolls. I love egg rolls. Um, I can make all kinds of different things. And I just pre I buy the pre-made ones. But I want to learn, my newest endeavor is going to be making pasta. So I am going to learn how to hand make pasta. I've been studying it. Um, I've got about 30 hours. It takes about 30 hours. Okay, we're in the car again, which means I'm driving and this thing's going to slide. So I'm really sorry. But um, it takes about 30 hours for me to learn a concept of how to do something completely because I learned every aspect of it, the history of it, how to do it, how to do all styles of it. So the average person, it takes about 30 hours to learn a concept. So today, my son is going in halves with me and we are going to buy a pasta machine and a ravioli cutter. And I found out also that you can use a pasta machine not only to make pasta, but to make Pop-Tarts. So, <laughs> and little handheld pies. And a pasta machine can be used for so many things. So I usually make my handheld pies by hand with a rolling pin but I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be basically pasta and a pasta machine is Play-Doh for growing it. So this is gonna be great fun. Um, I'll probably make a few videos. <laughs> I will probably bomb my first attempt. Um, I already tried to make pasta and I made the dough because I knew I was gonna ruin it. Um, and I just made a small batch and I tried to use a rolling pin, but I can't get it thin enough to do what you have to do. So I think a pasta roller is gonna be the best option for me. So that's what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go buy a pasta machine. You guys can come with me. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, at least it's fun for me. <laughs> and I'm gonna go get some food so that my family don't starve to death. And then when I get home, I have a sink full of dishes waiting for me. Huzzah. So we are at my local grocery store where I buy a couple of items at the warehouse style store. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna pick up some meat and some cases of organic tomatoes and things like that. I try to buy everything organic because it's just a lot healthier for your family. So come in. So first stop is cheese. And this is huge store. They have loads of types of cheeses, but I'm a huge fan of Tillamook. So this is five pounds of cheese for, well, $22. It's a little expensive, but if you can get cheese for about $3.50 a pound, you're doing really good. Um, I tend to shop price per pound because it's just easier and um, sometimes I will pick other things depending on what I'm making. So, but cheddar cheese is a staple in our family. I found the tomatoes. And I found the meat that we need. When you live in a small town and it's connected to a couple other small towns, you learn where to shop for the right things. So I buy certain meats here, I buy my cheeses here, I buy my organic tomato stuff here, and I will buy my vegetables at another store. Um, I'll buy my bread at a different store. I've lived here long enough to know where to get the, breath, the best prices, the best products, what time of the month to get them. And nobody in their right mind shops on the first of the month unless you wanna stand in line until you know the second coming. <laughs> so, um, 
So we're just shopping. Um, so I got the items I need here. Um, collectively, what's in my basket is going to come to about $90. It's only one, two, three, four, five, six items. But they're items that I buy in bulk. And then when I get home, if you pay a bulk price and you shop really well, you buy some plastic wrap, Ziploc bags, package it down yourself. If you want pork steaks, buy a pork roast, cut it yourself because you'll get the price per pound cheaper. So if you just add that little extra work, that's what I do. I just pay the lesser price and do the extra work and it works. Okay, <laughs> I am back in the car. I just had the coolest conversation with a cashier, um, a guy named Michael. He is it's almost like God put him there. Um, I just had the coolest God conversation. I needed that blessing about, you know, prayer and how, you know, coming back to God and taking care of yourself and putting all the issues and trials and stuff that we are going through, putting them in God's hands. And I just, you know, cause we are going through something and, you know, I just said, you know, our family is going through something right now. And I said, could you just pray? For that situation and so he is I needed that I <laughs> this is what I call a divine appointment when you you go in to pick up cheese and meat and tomatoes and you come out blessed that thank you God for that that was awesome all right we are off to Soldatna our next stop um because that's where the other stories that I go to and we have a couple of pit stops to make and yeah come on Okay, so we made it to Saldana. Um, it's really beautiful and sunny here, and the temperature here they're saying is 29 degrees. It does feel like it's warmed up a lot, so it's kind of awesome. The roads are pretty wet, um, which means everything's melting, and that is just fine with me. Um, but anyhow, I made it to this beautiful little specialty store. Um, it's where they sell all kinds of things that you really can't find um, in a standard department store for... Uh, I don't know, kitchen stuff and culinary and just kind of, it's it's like the extra beautiful, fun, niche -y sort of, I love this store. But anyway, come on in with me. This has got to be the cutest little store. It's so artsy. I love it. But this is where we're going into. My favorite part about it is the art that's around the door. That is just amazing. Okay, so... <laughs> Dummy me was so excited about my purchase, I forgot to um, tape. But in this bag is my pasta maker. So I'm super excited, give me one second. Okay, so this is what I got. It's a um, ravioli maker press, and it comes with a little rolling pin. And it was not a bad price, it was only 22 something. And I got this beauty. I am so excited. This is going to be so much fun. But that's what I got and that's how much it costs. So it wasn't so bad. But um, I will go home and clean my dishes that are waiting for me. And then I'm probably going to take this thing out. I'll probably film some of that. And we're going to play with this thing. Okay, I'm starting to feel like a yo-yo in an elevator. So um, <laughs> we're off to the next store. I need to go buy vegetables and a couple of canned goods and... Um, some bread and some things like that. So we're going to go to another store and we're going to finish the food shopping. So, okay, now we are at the place where I will go buy my vegetables and stuff. I'm trying to watch my step because I'm walking on ice. So I'm sorry if I'm looking at the ground. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, we're going to go do some shopping in here. Hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. Run into some cool people. I like people. I really do. And I'm sorry I look like a royal mess now. But anyway, come shopping with me. I absolutely love this vegetable department. It is just everything, everywhere. Lots of wonderfulness. So. So I'm managing to find a bunch of vegetables. I'm kind of, the celery is a little thin for my life, but I found lettuce, I found a lovely cabbage, and I got some egg roll wrappers because, well, we know what we're gonna do with that. This is the thing of beauty. These are really pretty, they're really nice, and they're on sale, and that makes me terribly happy. So we're gonna get some tomatoes. I just shopped like an absolute fiend, except for now I have to figure out where on earth I freaking parked without getting run over would be preferable. Oh my God, I am in the wrong place. Hang on, over there. I parked over there. That took brains, didn't it? I usually end up parking on the other side of the parking lot and completely forgot that 
well. I parked in front for some odd reason, but I totally shopped like a fiend. And this is the back seat of my car, completely full of food. And my new toy, of course. So I'm back in the car. Um, I got my vegetables. I got some uh, sausage and a couple of other things. I found um, some soup. Because sometimes just having already made soup is just nice to have. Especially when it's just you and you don't want to cook a huge meal. That's me being lazy. But, um, so there are a couple more things I do need to get. Which is going to require me to go to that place which my son says ought not to be named. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart is not our favorite place to go. It, it's fine, it's convenient and all that, but it's just really hard to get in and out of, I don't know. Um, but we're gonna go there, I need to get some plastic wrap and I need to pick up some potatoes. And our local Walmart has 20 pound bags of potatoes for $7 and to me, that is pretty awesome. And me being me, I love potatoes. I do all kinds of things with them. Um, one of my favorite things to do is roasted potatoes and I actually have a video about roasted potatoes I think on my Tina Woodworth channel if you want to go watch that I show you how to make them they're super stupid simple and amazing delicious um, and they're better than like hash browns you buy at the store pre-made and all that so they're really simple to do um, the other thing I need to find are those covers you put over stoves for messy cooks because we actually in our house have a warning label on our refrigerator that says warning men cooking <laughs> okay the food is really good my husband's a great cook but the boys in my house are a little messy but that's okay we just clean it up but I um, if I can find these little trays you just put them in there and then you can pull them out and wash them off or throw them away or they have like disposable ones so that I take a look see if I can find something like that um, but I'm gonna go see what I can find and then how that adventure turns out will determine how the rest of this adventure turns out and we're sliding again I'm really sorry about the slide but the vibration from the car it causes my camera to slide because it is sitting on the dash so there's that anyway get back at you in a minute and then you can go shopping with me again all right so we are at Walmart and I'm gonna go ahead and go in and um, pick up a couple things and then I'm gonna go home and put all this stuff away clear a counter um, and then I'm gonna try to if I still have energy after all that try to accomplish making some pasta or cooking something fun because I just think that would be fun to do so we're gonna go shopping again you sick of shopping yet huh I am not having the best of luck trying to find what I'm looking for but um, running into interesting people, so that's nice. But I guess I'm gonna have to probably wait um, and come back in a day or two to find some of the things. A couple recipes I wanted to make and I'm just not having a lot of luck finding the ingredients I needed. Um, so, oh well. <laughs> At least I can get my plastic wrap while I'm here. So I need plastic wrap and Ziplocs. Okay, so this turned into an unbelievable adventure. I had to go to four different stores to find one product. One. So, have my wonton wrappers. Now I'm gonna walk to the other end of the store and see if I can find the other thing I needed. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally <laughs> done shopping. It, I had to go to four different stores to find everything that I needed. Um, the only thing I still haven't found is cucumbers. I cannot imagine. <laughs> Maybe everybody's on a cucumber kick. Who knows? But I like salad and in my world, cucumbers belong in salad. So I guess I'm going cucumberless. Is that even a word? Well, it is now. Anyway, so now we're headed home. Um, we're gonna put all this stuff away and um, get something to eat, I think. And oh yeah, dreaded dishes. I guess my day is not done, so. Off to do chores, I go. Okay, so I just had what I would call a divine appointment. Um, I was out doing my shopping and stuff today and I ran into my daughter and I'm not gonna get into the story, but that was a God thing. And I am so, that was amazing because I got to 
get the latest updates on what was going on and talk to her about what was going on with her life. She's going to be competing and I'll put some footage in after this um, of her. <laughs> I made her blurb in a little bit, but um, she's going to be competing on ice and so there'll be more to come for that. But it was just really, really good to just hug her and to just talk to her and see where her life was right now. And <sighs> yeah, that was a divine appointment. And it was also an answer to some prayers that I'd been praying about. So confirmation is good. God answers prayers in a really good way. So anyway, I am going to head home now. <laughs> I think I said that last time. No, I, I really need to go home now. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I've been out of the house for five hours. That's insane. Um, but it's been a really good day. And so I think what I'm going to do is just kind of end this here. And I have all this food in the car that I still have to take. And luckily nothing is frozen. So nothing's melting. <laughs> good thing I didn't buy ice cream. But um, no, God is good. And it's been a really good day. I've had several just really blessed incidences today and um, some really great conversations with people today and you know it went longer than I anticipated I didn't anticipate it um, anticipate yeah I can talk um, being I just was gonna go shopping zip in zip out well that didn't happen and so I had another incident happen while I was in Fred Myers and I think that was a God thing for me to be there to intercede in the situation that had happened. I ended up having to help break up a fight between this had to be mid twenties man and this little old lady who was very tiny and she was probably about 77 years old. Um, long story short, this man walks into the store and starts yelling at her at the top of his lungs. And I'm like, you need to stop. I almost had to call the cops on him. But when he realized that's what I was doing, um, he quickly shut up and left. But it was, I don't know. It's been a weird day. It's been a great day. Um, it's been a God-filled day. And I'm just, yeah, out of words here. Love you guys. <laughs> okay. I ran into my baby today. And the music you're hearing is she is performing and competing and Forth, for, forthcoming vlog for that, definitely. Is that not the prettiest thing anybody has ever seen on the entire planet? <laughs>